Hello, my name is David Terrain, Field Applications Engineer with Enritsu Company. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the P25 test feature of our Enritsu S412E LMR Master. First step, let's choose Menu to set the test mode. The menu key displays the test features of the S412E. Let's choose P25. Now we are in the P25 test mode. Let's set the frequency. We're going to set our test frequency to 800 megahertz. Let's set the receive frequency to 800 megahertz. Let's set the TX frequency to 800 megahertz. Note the S412 has the ability to transmit and receive P25 signals. For demonstration purposes, we are going to transmit to ourselves. We have a receive frequency of 800 megahertz and a TX frequency of 800 megahertz. Next, let's set up the P25 signal itself. Let's select setup. We are in the setup mode. Here we can set the modulation type and the receive pattern. We can also set up the transmit pattern as well as NAC code, squelch level, and averaging. Let's select modulation type. In the P25 mode, we have C4FM and CP, CQ, PSK modulation types. Let's select C4FM. Next, let's select our receive pattern. We have four patterns for receive patterns. The 1011 Hertz test pattern, the 0.153 test pattern, voice, as well as control channel. For demonstration purposes, let's choose 1011 Hertz pattern. Now we must set our TX pattern. Let's select TX pattern. Note, we have various different test patterns we can transmit. P25-1011 pattern. P25 0.153 pattern, and then very other various other test patterns. However, today we're going to use a 1011 test pattern. We have set our P25 signal parameters. Next, let's select the type of measurement we want to make. Let's select measurement. When you select measurement, it displays the measurement screen. We have various different measurements we can make for P25. P25 analyzer, P25 control channel measurement, P25 coverage mapping, P25 bit capture, P25 IQ capture. Today we will focus on P25 analyzer. Let's select P25 analyzer. Now we are ready to test our P25 signal. 
For this demonstration, we will transmit to ourselves. Therefore, we need to turn on the, text, the TX generator, the signal generator. Note, the signal generator is transmitting. The power levels have changed and the various other parameters are now present. The measurement screen displayed at the moment is our P25 summary screen. We're showing a received power. We're showing a frequency error. We're showing modulation fidelity. We're showing BER. We're showing symbol deviation rate, NAC, and symbol rate error. In the P25 test mode, we can display results in various different manners. Let's choose graph type to explore those options. We have the summary screen, which we discussed. We have a linear constellation. We have the odd diagram. We have the histogram. We have the spectrum. And we have another constellation view diagram. With the P25 feature of the LMI Master, we can display various results at one time. Let's minimize the active graph. And now we're showing four different measurement types simultaneously. Note, the red outline indicates the active window. We can change the graph type in the active window. Let's change the graph type. Let's go to spectrum. Let's choose spectrum for that window. Now we are showing four different P25 measurements simultaneously. So let's save our results. To save our results, we can go Shift, File, which is the number seven key on the keypad, and say Save Measurements. It opens our Keyboard, we're going to call this measurement test. T. P25. Now we've saved our measurements results. This concludes the P25 demonstration of the LMR Master S412P. Thank you for your time.